Oh no, go ahead, no. That's right, go on. I wasn't letting you go, but... Go ahead anyway. About, uh, about masks because the folks at Mask Erie hooked us all up here at iHeart uh, Radio Erie with really nice cloth masks. And I've been using another mask, uh, so I have two to kind of switch back and forth. Uh, how often should we wash them? I wore a mask to the grocery store yesterday and I came home and my wife says, you probably ought to wash that. Uh, how often should we wash them? Like every time we use them? Well, it, it's interesting because there's not any true set pattern for it. it depends on what your mask is made of it depends on you know how much you're out you know part of it is and if there's no metal in it you can always microwave it which is another way that you, oh, can, interesting. Um, mm. you can make it uh clean um so to speak you know th this bug is not this bug this virus is not very hard to kill so if the water kills it uh any cleanser that's 60 percent alcohol or higher can clean it um, from what they say, microwaving can heat it, from what I'm reading. I, I hope I'm right, and I'm not giving misinformation out there. But make sure there's no metal in your, in your mask. <laughs> but um, yeah. realistically, if you take it off, if you don't wear it for 24 hours, anything that's on there should not be a problem. Okay. okay? Um, the biggest thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all the breath you put into it is out of there, too. Because, you know, remember, right. your spit and your mm -hmm. breath is getting in there. That's not good to be re-inhaling two or three or four days in a row. Now, I've got uh, an old expired surgical mask that I've been using when I go out, and I just, I literally leave it for 24 hours, and then I put it back on. Okay. And that's, that's the amount I'm doing with my particular mask, and um, uh, hopefully so far I haven't contaminated myself. See, I've been hand washing mine with like woolite in the sink. I yeah, don't know why. I'm very, <laughs> very like mindful of it instead of just tossing it in with everything else. Right. Well, you got to remember your regular clothes are getting exposed just as much as the mask is. That's true. You know what? That's really true. That's so, really yeah, true. Everyone's very, very focused on the mask. And the mask is protecting people from you. And the stuff that's on the front of the mask is no different than the stuff on your clothes, on your glasses, Alan. Mm -hmm. You want to use glasses? Do you wash them multiple times? Uh, I, try, I try to once a day, but uh, not but multiple times. Yes, they are. Think about it. So there, there's a lot here that we do because it seems right, but it may or may not be any different than anything else. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you ask about the mask, make sure you're not rubbing it with your hands and sticking your hands in your face when you take it off. Right. But you don't have to, I don't think, you know, once again, I don't want to say something that's a little bit off. I don't think we have to go over vigilant toxic on it because you're not doing that with your clothing. One thing you know, I did do with clothing. There was an article out yesterday yes. that was talking about that you can carry it on the soles of your feet because you're walking. you got to be careful taking your shoes off. And 
you know, the more we start looking at this, we talked about this, I think, a little bit last week, the more we think about it, we, we can just get overly paranoid and just have to go through a detox center in and out of your house, take mm -hmm. all your clothes off, hang them on a rack. I don't think we're at that point with this. Well, if, if you need training in taking your shoes off, marry an Asian woman. Trust me, you'll learn that very quickly. But uh, one, thing, one thing I have done differently with the laundry is, uh, boy, did I learn fast. One thing.